Hey, how's it going? Appreciate you guys. Um, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Um, I didn't do any game dev yesterday. Um, so we're gonna try to get back into it today. Um, I'm probably just gonna be doing some level design, polishing, you know, the usual. Um, but hopefully, um, I don't know. I'm hoping to get like a lot done today. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, British. Yep, we're all good here. Um, one thing I noticed about some of my levels is that, like, you kind of need, like, some pixel perfect movement or, like, timing based movement. Like, for example, this spot right here. You have to go through here, hit this, and then dash through. And I feel like this is a little, it's a little difficult for people. So I'm going to see maybe. Either we should widen this or like remove it altogether. Um, let me bring our player over there. What's uh, what's happening tomorrow, by the way? one other room that has something similar going on i feel like it, it's a it is a good i guess mechanic to have but like right here might be kind of hard but we'll use this level to teach the player you know like how to be a little bit more perfect with their dashes and it's also a little wider compared to the other ones that we have um but this one specifically i think is too too small All right, sounds good, British guy. What sort of uh, software are you gonna be working on? Uh, you know what? Honestly, we can remove this all together. Maybe make. Let me see if it's possible. If we dash across, we might be able to get to this side and remove this block altogether. Maybe I'll add something in between, or maybe put this down one and then another one right there. Let's see. Um, one other thing that I don't like about this level design here is that there's a little bit too much, like, there's too much room for error here. Or, uh, I mean, I guess 
Um, actually, there's not enough room for error. Um, and what I mean by that is that, like, by the time you dash over... Oh, we're gonna spawn over here now. Let's see if I can get across. Like, yeah, you dash to, like, this point right here. Um, and so either we can lower this, maybe to bring it, like, right there, and then they have to dash uh, horizontally. Or, I'm sorry, diagonally. Um, that could fix it. Let's see if that helps. Um, not sure actually. It's actually, <laughs> actually, I think it helps them more. Hmm. Making a custom Minecraft launcher. That's pretty cool. A custom Minecraft launcher uh, using Minecraft, or like, like it would it would still open up Minecraft, like the official Minecraft game. And like, what's the the purpose of doing that? I don't know too much about Minecraft, but I do I do have a lot of hours on it. We could, we could leave this room the way it is. It's not terrible. It also feels, it, it feels empty here. But I guess it's better that it feels empty than to, I don't know, like. Being too difficult, I guess. That's probably a greater concern. Um, I'm also trying to think. What we could do here for our collectibles. Or our monuments. They're technically not collectibles, but we, we could call them collectibles. Because um, you do need to grab all of them. It's a similar function to multi MC. Um, it'll let you have multiple instances of the game with separate mod folders. I see. So you can have like, so like, like kind of like a, a mod, like have you heard of Technic? Or like the Technic launcher, I think it was called. It was a, a long time ago. I'm sure. I mean, t I'm sure Technic is still like a. Maybe it's a popular mod, but I guess it would be considered like a classic mod. Where like I remember, I had this launcher that would let me pick which mods I wanted to to run. So like there was like the Technic. I think there was like Tech It as well. There was I think it was called Feed the Beast or something like that. There was like a Minecraft RPG and like there was like I don't know like a drop menu, drop down menu that let me pick which which mod pack I wanted to have. Is that is that something similar to what you're doing? All right, so I think we'll leave this room the way it is. Let me, I'm gonna replay the whole game. And like, as we go through each of these rooms, I'll see if there's anything wrong with them. Um, and at the same time, we'll start adding more secrets to like every room. We can, honestly, we could add one right here. People wanna explore. Um, another thing I wanna do is, I think we'll do this during this stream, is add more sounds. Um, like a background sound. I think we already we, we do technically already have a background sound, but it's not too loud and it doesn't create at, at least in my opinion It doesn't create much of an environment um, So I want to look through 
maybe open game art or itch and find something that's like high quality for i don't even know like dungeon sounds or like maybe lamps lamps flickering or something like that we'll see i like i'd like for the world to be a lot more like dynamic or interactable um let's see what we can do there i want to work on like all the if the level design is good i think the next thing that we need to just worry about is just um the yeah just all the small things and creating like actually creating our world oh we're also going to remove this let's do that now Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Are you using Java to work on it? So I guess, yeah, for now we're just going to remove these um, add tombstone variables. Fortunately, I don't think I added it to too many places. Oh, but we should add a sound to each of those, each of these lamps whenever they activate. So we'll do that as well. Oh, and there's one right here. Let's fix that. What we're also going to do is um, we're just going to inspect this room and every time we see uh, if there's a process room and the add lamp is set to true, we should actually set this to true here. Um, every time we process the room, so it, it'll actually play, I don't know if we want to play it here or we could play it when, um, actually no. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it in process room for now, but when we do rewrite everything, I think I only want the sound to play, or like have two different sounds to play. Um, one for when you activate the lamp, and one when you like respawn the lamp. But yeah, for now, um, since we're short on time and assets, we'll say if add lamp. Um, sounds dot... What do we call this? I forgot. Let's look at our sounds. Uh, monument activate. Oh, um, we actually, yeah, we'll use monument activate for now, but we'll see if we can find a better sound for that. Hey, how's it going, Napitas? Oh, crap. We, uh, Oh, why is there a lamp here too? That shouldn't be the case. I mean... Okay, this is a problem. No, we don't want this to play all the time. What we'll do instead is um, in process room, if active lamp... Um, or like if our current uh, checkpoint is this checkpoint, then we'll, uh, we won't play the sound. Or if it is this checkpoint, um, yeah, if it's not this checkpoint, we'll play the sound. Um, so let's say, I think we could do if current, if level manager dot current. Do we have a current checkpoint? Let's see. Might be saved in world demo. Current checkpoint. Uh, we do have one in our world, so we could put it there. We could say basically, um, if level manager dot current world dot current checkpoint node does not equal self. 
then we'll play this. Um, we do need to make sure that this updates correctly. I think I think it should update correctly. All right, so played once. Yeah, there we go. So let's see if this lamp. Actually, we're gonna remove. Oh, and uh, in this checkpoint, we also need to make sure if activate uh, or if at lamp. Then we'll play this. There we go. Um, and in that first room, let's just make sure we don't have add lamp added to it. This is our player. The tiles look much better. Their positioning, um, yeah, I, I, would, I think I would agree. Um, okay. So we've already tested out these rooms, but we haven't tested it out with the new lamps. Let's see. Oh, and last stream we were working on the on placing the correct tile here for our like input. We'll have to, I completely forgot we were working on that. Um, oh, it seems that in our room switcher, we accidentally set add lamp to true for all objects. Hopefully didn't, this did, doesn't mess up with like local, not local. We'll, we'll see. It's not the worst thing in the world if it did, because. Give us a chance to look through everything, but we'll find out pretty soon. Yeah, okay. It didn't mess up with anything. Uh, let's see this place. Yeah, there we go. That's what we wanted. There are fireflies. Yeah, you know, the I'm thinking about doing, like, they kind of look like fireflies. You're right. I, I actually didn't see them as fireflies. Um, but they most definitely can be. If that's the case, maybe I'll put less, because this might be a little overwhelming. It the, the thing that's weird, I mean, it's not weird, but it's like... Um, because we have our game in like perfect pixel art, um, for certain objects like like the particles, um, it doesn't move as smoothly, right? Um, and I'm, I'm wondering if I should add like real particles to the game or like, you know, non-pixel art particles to the game. I think it would make the game look cooler, um, but it also wouldn't be true to pixel art. So I'll have to figure out what to do there. Yeah, more more spirit like, um, and and smoother smoother in animation. Like it's very smooth in the editor, but that's because the editor isn't in pixel art. Okay, so this is another room that has this checkpoint. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna remove all of these versions of it at least for now. Oh yeah, the the lighting, the the lighting actually. Is it not pixel art? I guess it's not, but I actually don't know why it's not pixel art. It technically, it technically should be pixel art. Uh, I mean, you can see the ray, like the ray cast that's that's drawn here is technically pixel art. Or the like, yeah. The the casting shadow is pixel art, but yeah, the image itself is not pixel art. Um, and I wonder why that is. Um, because everything that's like put into this viewport should be like the resolution is just dropped. Like it, it should only render pixel art. Um, but that's, I guess that's something that they didn't consider um, in the Godot engine. But that's something that we can fix. We'll 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 figure that out over time as well.
Um, where were we? We were... Over here. So yeah, we don't need this here. Hey, how's it going, Zomfie? Good afternoon. Yeah, I, w I woke up late today as well. Um, like around 12. Might be from the anti-aliasing? Um, maybe. The, the, the thing is, even if you had anti-aliasing, like it... Like we have an Oh, well, we don't have it anymore. But we had it on this arrow. And even if you did have it on the arrow, it would still render it as pixel art, no matter what. Um, so I have to figure out what's going on there. It, it's not too big of a deal. Like I don't mind not have like for certain objects. Like like let's say we did want. I think it would be cool to show like the um, the particles and the lighting. Like it doesn't have to be pixel art for that exact thing. So yeah, I think that's done. I don't think we have any more lamps in our- Oh, we do, we do have a few more, but, um... Oh. It's not a big deal. Oh, there's one other- there's one room- Oh my god, I died here. I feel like I'm a little slow today, like my- Reaction times, or like I'm pressing the wrong buttons when I dash. Not sure why. Oh, uh, another thing we need to add as like a polish for these uh, portals is an animation for when you bounce off. Um, it's not a big deal. Oh, and this room, this is what I wanted to update to. It's such a simple room. Um, let me see what I can do here. Oh, and as we're going through the rooms, we should try to figure out where we could put other secrets um like i feel like a good secret would be in that portal room where um there might be two portals like maybe one um, maybe like one here and then this one it leads to like um one of those rooms but yeah it's kind of tight in here like it's a little bit too much stuff going on Even if you lower the resolution, um, it'll still look blurry because it's anti-aliased. Are you sure it's... I don't remember there being an option for light 2D nodes, but maybe there is. Let me see. Uh, let's go... Where is it? I mean, it's in all of our objects, but let's see what it looks like on our player. Light 2D. Doesn't even show an option for that. I guess maybe the buffer size and like gradient or filter, maybe one of those things would mess with it. I'm not gonna touch it right now. What do Americans eat on Christmas Day? Um, honestly, for my family, um, Chris Christmas Day is kind of like, um. Kind of like Thanksgiving, so like we might have a turkey, usually like a ham or something. Usually, anything that we eat during Thanksgiving, maybe minus the the, the turkey, um, is what we eat for Christmas. Um, but I also go to different two different houses for Christmas. Like sometimes I'll go to my grandparents' house, sometimes I go to my mom's house. Um, yeah, they cook two different things. My mom just make, makes whatever she feels like making that day. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's see. What room are we in? Oh yeah, this room we gotta fix.
So yeah, like this room introduces the mechanic kind of, but it's also kind of unnecessary because there's this wall here that you can easily just use to get up. Like you could dash into this and dash out, which is fine, I guess. But it's a uh, uh, like it's it's kind it's fine to like I don't want to say abuse the mechanic, but like use the mechanic to your advantage. Um, but I feel like there should be a better way to go about this. This looks kind of cheap, in my opinion. Unless we put a wall here, but then this whole part is boring. Um, so let me think. What can we do? Rolls, pies, cakes, turkey, ham, stuffing, mac and cheese, casserole, green bean casserole, baked beans, and more. Is that what you eat, zombie? My family, we have a full roast dinner with turkey and sometimes another meat like chicken or beef. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it, honestly, it, it depends on my family sometimes too. Like, sometimes we won't even do anything. Um, like sometimes my grandparents host it and then sometimes they don't do anything and if they don't host anything I usually don't like visit other family unless it's my mother don't Americans boil their turkey? no I haven't, I don't, I've never seen anyone boil their turkey it's usually put in the oven I feel like boiling I feel like boiling a turkey unless you're like making soup soup out of it I feel like boiling a turkey would be kind of a waste you know like all that nutrients is going into the water or like all the you know the fat the juices and stuff is going into the water I also I haven't I, I haven't heard of turkey soup either I don't know if that's a thing It's illegal to cook meat uh, other than an oven or a slow cooker. Yeah, I agree. Unless, unless you're making a soup, like chicken soup, like, a, you know, some sort of chicken soup. And then, like, you're, you know, you're using the, the, the broth, like you're making broth with it, too. Um, yeah, otherwise. Yeah. Go home. Uh... Oh, that sounds good. I used to use a slow cooker all the time when I, when I lived alone. Or making soups, like that was like my go-to. It's so easy, you know, you just throw like throw chicken in there, uh, like drumsticks and stuff, and then uh, like carrots and potatoes and stuff like that. Some salt and pepper, maybe some other spices and it's good to go. And it would last like, you know, two, two or three days. like you know two or three hours out of your day to make something that lasts for three days like you, that you can eat like constantly all the time my issue with, with like my cooking though is like I, I always make big batches like I'll make like you know like a huge soup or like you, know, you could buy it like where I live like you could buy like a whole pack of like chicken or something and I would just cook all of it and then just eat it for the rest of the week um, and then you, usually what happens is I get sick of the food so like I'll make I'll make chicken soup for like two weeks and then I'll get sick of it and then I have to go on to like the next meal which will be like I don't know like rice or something with chicken um, I don't know what to do here so we have we you know we dash here this is all, honestly this whole room I think should be scraped it's not it, it like it works and it's pretty easy it's just bad in my opinion uh, but i don't want to focus on it too much i'm trying to think what could we do we, we could just expand this maybe shorten this maybe like that they go here they touch you know, it's funny, you could just dash here and like dash into this and then maybe dash out, but it might not be possible. Dash out, maybe touch a platform, uh, 
think we've already introduced dash orbs. So yeah, we'll do something like that. You dash out, hit a dash orb, platform, then maybe a builder dash orb. Um, so in this case, you could dash into this and dash out from here, but I, I feel like that's a more fair way to go about it. Now we can actually put this closer. Let's test this out. Still pretty, I don't know, <laughs> it looks pretty cheap to me. This is all you need fried turkey. Oh, so another thing I've noticed with this level. Um, so I, I noticed this with when someone played my game is if they dash into this uh, spring right here, the force dash actually forced them to hit like this little spot instead of the spring. Um, and I thought, I, I had some code checking for it, so I wonder what was going on there. It's not like there's anything random added to the game for like the level design, but I guess what might have happened is, um, I don't know, something with the, like, having your version of the game or like your CPU placing something slightly, slightly lower than usual. I don't know how that works. But yeah, it was it was really strange for me to see. Um, but I mean, one thing that we could do is either increase the, the hitbox of our springs, or we could just lower them. So yeah, like your hit your hitbox would hit like this little corner piece right there. I'm trying to think. Maybe we could. Uh, the thing is, I also don't like moving things one pixel short. Oh, but you know what we could do? Let's just bring this one pixel higher. Um, or like this, do like that. You'll always hit this part right there. So yeah, that, that should fix it. Oh, and we accidentally closed the room. by Michelin Star Chef. Interesting. Wait, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna put on my shoes. Or my... My, my grandpa's slippers. this room is just add spikes here they might get confused at first um, but hopefully they figure it out that these spikes kill uh, are like that you could dash out um, I don't have actually yeah we did have this in previous rooms where we showed that the player could dash out um, another thing that I need to make sure of is that these orbs look different from our dash orbs because right now it looks like the same thing and I might make people um, assume that it's the same like uh, dash orb and we'll, like maybe they'll think it's like a bug or something uh, So we'll have to fix that uh, But for now We'll worry about that um, Probably on, on another stream probably tomorrow or something depending on if we're done with the level design today And I think we are I think we're done. Uh, I do want to add like maybe 
two more secrets or two more monuments. And if we have the time, I'll also want to add the secret room. But I don't know if we do that today. We, we might just have like a, a stat that says monuments found. Uh, and save that as like a global variable. When will it come out? So um, every version that I release, like every time I release a new version, there's uh, there's something out on itch. So right now there's the current version. Um, look, the full game, I'm not even sure. Like I can't save one. Um, but I plan on releasing the Kickstarter. Well, orig the original plan was to release it in nine days on December 15th. We'll see if we're able to reach that deadline. Um, I still have to finish a bunch of like marketing stuff, like. I need to finish up the page, um, stuff like that. Uh, finish the trailer. Um, and I'm also waiting on some people to finish their site. Like I like made some commissions and stuff like that. So I'm waiting for them to finish that up. Um, and then this version of the game will be released. This is going to be the final version for the Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, you can already play this game. Like uh, most of the levels are the same. Um, and you can play it on itch.io. Uh, it should be in the description, but here, I'll send it in the chat as well. Thanks, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. But yeah, here's the link. Oh, and you made a Mario game too. Awesome. You, you could send a link too, and I'll play test it for you. Oh, uh, we were working on this yes or two days ago, and I completely ignored it uh, today. So we'll fix that. Mm, should we do this afterwards, or you know, we're in the level design groove. So let me add those secret rooms first, and then or like one or two more um, of those monuments, and then we'll we'll work on the UI again. The UI is, is kind of annoying. Uh, I haven't even touched the keyboard UI. Um, so it'll be fun. You know, this room is also kind of low tier. This one right here. This one is pretty cool too. Uh, it's cool, but I feel like maybe something needs to be polished here. But we won't worry about that. Let's try to find another cool spot. We could put, we could put it here because there, there's so much empty space here. Or maybe the thing is, we, we don't want them to be too close to each other. So our first, our first monument is here. Um, you know, our second monument is actually really close to the first, first one. Um, what I think I might do is put one in the earlier rooms. I think, you know, what would be a nice place to put it is like on the left side of the screen. So like most people will go to the right side, but if they go to the left side, they might find something and, or, you know, there's the potential of finding something. And of course they will be rewarded for it because there will be something there. Um, the only issue actually is that. The way we have our raycasts set up, or like these um, these corner pieces, is that it iterates from right to left. Um, so if it sees that there's a room to the right, it'll add that like I don't know if you notice, but whenever I start the game, there's like a light uh, that spawns on the next. Well, actually, yeah. Right now you can see that it's spawning on the left, and that's because we instance the world from this scene. But usually it should be black here, or like. There shouldn't be any white node, uh, light node here, and it should be all the way on the top right. I'm trying to think. Hope I hit 100k. Uh, thank you, man. 
Oh, you made a Super Mario game in Roblox. Cool. What's with the arrows on the uh, overall plan? Are you talking about these arrows? Or like the arrow that surrounds the player? So I'm trying to think. If we did add a secret room, maybe we won't add it here. We'll add it like up here like maybe we'll make this part of the wall blank and then they can like climb up it see what's up there and they're like oh you know they get rewarded for uh for exploring a bit and it, you know sets the tone for the rest of the game they're like oh if there's secrets in the first room there must be secrets in other places so maybe we'll like it's crazy looking on the left side and then on the right side it's just a blank wall um I'm trying to think what we could do maybe something like that i would put it on the left side but yeah the way we have our light node set up or like our checkpoint set up on the left side can, can screw us up. Um, and that's because I was originally, I, I never planned on having anything on the left side. Watch me make it a Metroidvania. Yeah, honestly, feature creep is is real, man. You know, I sometimes think about it. Like, I mean, a lot of people suggest adding combat, or like a lot of people ask if I'm adding combat to the game. I feel like I have to, like, I have to disappoint them every time I say no. You know, like that's a pretty common question, and it's like, damn, man, wait, maybe I should have done that. All right, how many rooms? I think we have 97 rooms. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll duplicate this. Or actually, let's duplicate room zero. I believe it's room zero. No, room zero. All right, you know what? Let's duplicate an easier room like this one. Room one. Yeah. The name of the game is Super Mario Bros. in Roblox. It's a pretty clever name. Where, where's our room? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we're gonna have to fix where it is on the on the map, like the entrance to it. But that's fine. What is that? One, two, three, four tiles down. One, two. doesn't have to be honestly yeah we're gonna delete this other room switcher we're gonna remove all the furniture we could add furniture but could also just make it a blank room Maybe make it look like broken down. Something like that. It 
the solo goofy bros it's pretty good is it like i know roblox is like 3d so is it like 3d like super mario world I mean, a non-working GUI uh, design for the launcher. Well, yeah, if it serves its purpose, I guess that's the most important part. UI can, you could always fix later. Um, what are we doing? Monument. Oh, what happened here? Room name, uh, room name on base node? What the hell? What happened to the, oh, you know what, ha uh, no, I don't know what happened here. Let's see. I'm assuming it, it's because of this new room that we added. Let me try that one more time. Or maybe we started world instead of main scene. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, invalid room name on base node 2 Let's see what's going on here. Room 98, go into our world demo, room 98, huh, Let's see what happens if I, it shouldn't crash if we delete it, right? Strange, um, let's go back into it. Uh, original node path is str on room name. This is for our monument, right? Uh, get parent dot get parent dot get name on base node two D. I, I think what we did here, maybe we put it in the child. Oh yeah, we didn't put it in the objects node. There we go. I think by default, our room actually has to be larger than two two tiles, or not not the tile, but the entrance. We can make this four tiles, one, two, three. make it five tiles. Um. Why is it extending over to this room here? Uh, I think our minimum size we might have messed up with. Let's see, this goes up to goes up to 320. And we're seeing like that black tile. That black tile usually only happens. Um, if the, the, the borders are set up correctly. Uh, but, oh, I think, what the hell? How, how's that even possible?
like the there, there's like an extra tile place right there Usually we, this is the first time we're having two entrances, so maybe we have something messed up with our tile map. I'm wondering what's going on there. I'm, I'm wondering if this is a part of this. I think it's a part of this room. Something's going on with this room. Let's see what were to happen if we just remove this room. Actually, we don't have to remove it, but let's just place it somewhere else. Just like all over here. Let's see what happens. You DM me. Let's see here. You cool if I share this on stream or you want to wait until it's done? It looks pretty good though. anyone watching doesn't look good yet but he's working on it hopefully your name is not blah 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 and we didn't see your password pretty cool so British Geek Guy is working on a launcher to show, like, if I understand correctly, it's like a launcher to load different mods um, and, like, select which mods you want to run on each of your Minecraft instances. Looks pretty good so far. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, you said the UI doesn't look, it doesn't look good, but I don't think it looks terrible. I feel like, you know, the Minecraft, usually Minecraft launchers from what I've seen don't look amazing anyway. So it's not like it needs to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, like just changing like the button textures and like I could see this being a regular, like the, the UI itself, it looks fine as long as you add textures and stuff. But I don't know too much about Minecraft and what's like the standard of launchers. Okay, so yeah, yeah, there is an issue with having multiple um like gaps in our game and it's weird that it shows like this two pixel gap but then yeah there's like some extra stuff going on here so we'll, we'll look at our tile map really quick and see what's going on there it's crazy how we like work on one thing and then like this we go kind of like on a tangent and fix oh uh, and fix other things in our game so let's see we have a create scaffolding and then in our ready function um Let's see, four tiles in tile. Let me look at our tile really quick. I'm proud of just being able to make uh, the account settings dialogue in the game. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, you know, you know that it works, right? I think that's like the most important part, right? I was about to share my window, but then I was like, hey, wait, let me full screen this, share the, the game, and then, uh, and then un unshare my screen afterwards. Or not of the game, the launcher you're working on. Oh, 
Why are you trigger triggered waffles? Oh no. you got to do is just play by yourself do 1v3s your teammates can never disappoint you if you play by yourself all right um so if uh, cell X is equal to our cell min. Um, what's going on? So if we're in a corner piece, or I'm sorry, like a X, X min or X Y, uh, sorry, X min or X max, um, we set our cell to seven, which I assume is just a like a black um, image. Yeah, it's a black image, but for certain cases, it's printing way too often, um, or it's printing when. Y plus one. So if it's below something, it's equal to negative one, set cell seven. I think that's wrong. Yeah, it should we we should be checking if it's not equal if it if it is equal to negative one then we should do nothing on cell X and cell Y, which we don't have yet. Um, I'm a little slow today. I'm trying to figure out what what I was trying to do here. Um, plus one. We shouldn't set it to seven all the time. Um, this is setting it to. Here, let me see if we comment this out. If if cell and then. Oh. Yeah, you know we could do could just have another if statement that says um, if cell does not equal negative one or oh, sorry if get cell There we go. I think that should fix it. Unless one of these other, it, it might be that one of these if statements is messing with it, but let's see if that fixed, fixed it in general. No, it's still there. Okay. Um, I'm going to comment this out for now. Let's see if these are the issues. No, it's, oh, whoa. Okay, so th these aren't even the issues. Um, if 
If so, y is equal to our cell min, then we said it's seven. Um, likewise with cell x, we set, set it to, to seven. I don't think it's either of these, but let's guess we're gonna have to look through it. All right, I see you, British Geek Guy. Thanks for stopping by, man. Good luck on the, the rest of your project. Okay, uh, this is very strange. Is there anywhere else we set cell, cell, cell 7 to? Um, you know what? There might be another issue with um, this room specifically, and that's that we have two, um, two time maps here. Let me see. There's this one here. Let me just. Honestly, I might just delete this one. So it's unnecessary. Calcul oh. Okay, so yeah, that seemed to be the issue, is that we had two instances of, um, of auto tile 2 in our first room. Um, so, if that's the case, I think we could go back into our code. We'll look at it one more time. Um, just enable everything. You know, I'm actually surprised that we didn't need this uh, if cell is um, equal to negative 1, but... I won't question it. So let's see, maybe we'll leave this. Oh, because it's iterating through used cells. So yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even matter. Oh, hell yeah. Congrats, Dev, uh, Dev Waffle. There we go. Um, Wow. You should center it a bit too. We have one here. Go back, drop down. Oh, you know, the placement of our lights here are a little messed up too. You can faintly see it, but there's like a little square right here. I'll have to fix that. What is that? Those are monuments. Like, basically, they're kind of like collectibles in the game. Um, if you unlock all of them, you get you unlock like a secret room.
There's another one over there. I do have to fix the texture of it. Um, right now it's using like the original texture. Oh wait, what the hell? Did it? Why is it still playing the sound? Level manager the current world the current checkpoint does not equal self and if add lamp Ugh, this shouldn't play constantly but i guess what's happening is when maybe when we oh yeah yeah when we die it's technically a new instance of the room so we could compare it either we would want to like save these checkpoints as like their own objects to make them unique or give them like a specific name giving them a name wouldn't be the worst idea uh, but we would have to like just double check um yeah i wish i wish i knew that this was a problem in the past i mean i guess there was no way of actually knowing But let me let me think about this. Uh, we we would basically treat it similar to how we. Ah uh, yeah, it, it won't be too hard actually. Basically, what we would do is in process, either in process. Yeah, we could do it in process. Before we process the room, we would send a signal to our level manager saying like, "Hey, this is not my." Not the reference to the node, but like its path, its original path, and the path would be like you know the room name plus the uh, the node name. Make things simple. Oh my god, I don't. It's like do I really want to do this today? Let me open up Trello really quick, and we're just going to add this to the list of things that we have to do. All right, so is this under, yeah, let's put this under polish. We'll say uh, checkpoint um, location ported. Cord checkpoint path location. To grab uniqueness or for uniqueness, um, we could also just compare it to, um, like, we could compare it, like global positions. The, the only thing is that sometimes global positions are like, I don't know. I feel like I can't trust global positions in Godot. Like, uh, there'll be different values from time to time. Um, and yeah, if this was like, I don't know, like a custom engine where we like, you know, perfectly assigned pixels uh, to like certain spots and stuff like that, it would be easier. But with Godot, like sometimes it's like, you know, uh, X is equal to, you know, 1.2379 or something, something like that. And even though we have everything set up on in a grid, um, yeah, sometimes those values, uh, sometimes you get some weird values. Uh, so we can't do it that way. Um, when it comes to, okay, so we're, we're going to record our path location, I think. There were some other things that we wanted to do. Um, update monument colors. Um, add more environment print sounds. Um... What else was there? I 
think we'll leave it at that for now. If I, if I figured anything out, else out. Oh, I didn't realize you said it kind of fits the the the, uh, the music of the game. They said something else. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna say <laughs> it looks bad. <laughs> Which would be fair. I do think it, it could be updated though. <laughs> Alright, what were we doing? Let's look back at our world demo. So yeah, we have one secret at the start of the game. We have another one halfway through and then another one right after that. But I think that's fine. And then we'll add like... I think one more or two more, depending on like where I think I can place them. Like, mm. oh, we already have four. We have four in total. So let's yeah, let's try adding one more. And a decent spot would either be with these teleporters or maybe like right here to the left. same issue arises with our ray casts you know what we could do with uh these checkpoints is actually check if we want to enable that light node that, that would make our life a little easier um because that way like how we have it working is it grabs the next room over to add a light to so you know if we're all the way at the front in the first room room zero um it'll keep adding a light to the next room it sees um but in this room, the next room it sees would probably be, um, well, it could be this room here, but it theoretically could be this room on the left that we're about to add. And um, it, it just wouldn't be consistent with the rest of the game. So yeah, we'll, we'll add an option to not add a light to the room. And if there hasn't been any light added to the room, then we'll just put it on the right side. The vegetable stage is so hard. You're talking about the, if I remember correctly, like the, what the, like the carrot, you have to like fight the carrot or something. I'll tell you, it's easier in single player than in multiplayer. I feel like in multiplayer, it felt impossible. Cause it's like, I don't know if it's like two times harder, but it's pretty hard. I wonder what my, like, my camera looks blurry. It might just be the reflection of the light. That'll be better. Um, yeah, let's edit this room. You need good knowledge of web development and async operations to really nail multiplayer. Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't ever plan... Oh, for this game, I don't think I'm doing anything multiplayer besides, like, saving stats. Or, like, trading, like, um... Um... Creating a leaderboard, which doesn't really require too much, uh... I guess... Um, I don't know, like intense programming having to do with your network, right? Oh, there's also no, t there are no tiles here. So maybe we'll lower this a bit. And we'll do this. This will be another entrance. I would like to work on an online game at some point. 
I, I'm I'm just worried like if I were to ever work on an online game, it would probably be like a co-op game. But then like I feel like co-op games are so risky uh, to make because it's like I don't know. You have to rely not only on one individual buying your game, but you have to worry about multiple people buying your game. And it's like with a single player pl game, you don't have to worry about that like you know that second factor of other players. Um, so I always I always wonder what people think about when they're like making those games. Like um, I don't know, like a game like uh, you know, there's like this popular game that came out recently, Played Up, I think it's called. Um, and I'm like just wondering, like I mean, technically it could be a single player game too, but. I don't know. There's some other games that you know require you to play multiplayer with. Like, um, there's this cute little game that I got with my friends. It was called Rubber Bandits, and I mean it's not a popular game, but I could see it being like there are similar games in that genre. And it's like, I don't know. You're taking like a huge risk making that game um, if you have to rely on other people buying it. But I mean, maybe that's a niche that a lot of people aren't satisfying. So it's like. Uh, if you make one game like that, then you're probably going to get a bunch of people that are like, you know, if you get one person who really wants to play the game and, you know, they're like super social people and they have other social friends who play video games that are like in that similar genre, then they'll all get the game. Um, but I haven't looked too too deep into it. Or like, golf, you know, the game Golf with Friends, like <laughs> you're relying that people you're relying on the fact that people have friends. So, we already have a room 100, so we're, I mean, uh, room 99, so we're going to make room 100 now. And room 100 is going to be the same as room 98, but just flipped. Oh yeah, you need to get streamers on board with playing multiplayer games, yeah. And that's like a whole other can of worms, you know? Um, like, let's say you're marketing your game and you want you want people to, like you want to pay influencers, let's say, uh, to play your game. Um, it's also kind of a, I mean, everything is a, I don't want to sound like I'm like being a downer about it, because like, there's risk in everything. There's risk in making single player games too. But it's kind of like you have to factor in the risk versus reward. Like, you know, I think we can all agree on uh, not making an MMO for your first game. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, like when it comes to games like that, like, if you, like, uh, from what I've read, contacting influencers has the, the least amount of return on investment. Like, you're better off paying for ads for people to play your game. Um, but, I mean, if you have, like, extra funding, then you should pay influencer Or, like, you could con uh, come in contact with influencers. But, yeah. Let's say you're on a low budget. It's probably better to, let's say, invest on, you know, the, the, the look of your Steam page or the trailer. Or um, even, like, even paying for ads. Like, if, if everything that you have is perfect... Like your game design is per or your game is perfect it's fully polished you have a good trailer you have you know, everything except for like an audience um it might be better just to pay for like youtube ads or google ads um than to contact an influencer and have and and pay them but yeah it also depends on your uh the amount of money you have so like obviously you know if you're a triple a company and you're like you know you contact some big time uh streamer um it, it might be a really good return on investment it's
it's a historical preference that multiplayer should be one of the last things um, added to a game. Yeah. I wonder, like, how most games start out. Like, uh, I feel like this game, like, honestly, I could redo this entire, not redo this game, but, like, I could easily just change the assets of this game and make it some sort of multiplayer game. Someone suggested I make it multiplayer, but yeah, the the base game is not even done, so like I can't even, uh, I can't even like humor the idea yet when I'm not even done with the mechanics. Um, wait, before we do anything, I want to see if we'll if we'll get a bug here where the incorrect room spawns the light. Um, so wait, yeah, this one spawned correctly. Yeah, yeah, so we get two lights on the left and right. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. As you can see, there's another room right here. This room looks basic. Oh, yeah, we have no spikes here. Let's add that too. Oh, and another thing that you can do here is, oh wait, maybe you can't. I was gonna see, maybe you can like, yeah, you can, you can oh, wait, wait. Yeah, if you were, if you were clean, you go like that and then, come like that. Damn. Dev Waffle. Yeah, it's a hard game. Um, Dev Waffle is currently playing uh, Cuphead. But you know, that's like. Yeah, they're able to make a game like, you know, if anyone else made that game and like the graphics weren't as good as they are, like, you know, everything in Cuphead is like hand drawn. If that wasn't the case and, you know, they just use like simple squares and stuff or like low quality sounds. That game wouldn't be nearly as popular. It's important to have like good first impressions. Like, you know, if someone like, let's say you're playing this game for a long time, you, you didn't know me or anything like that. And my game was on par with difficulty with um, Cuphead, but also on par in difficulty with, um, not, not uh, on par with the um, like fairness of the game. It's less likely that you would like finish my game because you would be like, it's more likely you would blame uh, my game for being, you know, like bad level design or something like that. Whereas with a game that's as popular as Cuphead, um, you, you would, you're more likely to give it more chances, even though you've died like, you know, a crap ton of times. One, because it's, it's a popular game, and two, because it's such a high quality game. And it's like, it's already made a name for itself, in, both in the gameplay and in like the art and all of that stuff. Is something to consider when you're making your own games. That's why, like, whenever someone says my game is too hard, I'm like, shit, man, I gotta do something to, like, I gotta fix that. Like, unless my game is beautiful, um, I can't make it too hard, or people will, will quit. And I'm not complaining, like, as if this is, like, you know... I'm not saying, like, you know, hey, uh... My game is good, but no one's giving me a chance. I'm, I'm, I'm more saying like this as like facts. You know what I mean? Like, hey, uh, just a warning for everyone out there. You know, if you want if you want people to give your game a chance and you want to make it difficult, you need to make sure that you set like a really, really good first impression. What do I know? PG-13. I'm not saying anything. I don't think I'm saying anything that's not PG-13. Is like swearing, is swearing not PG-13? And I, I don't even swear that often. It's like, is swearing PG-13? Profanity is, uh, may be present in PG-rated films. 
Um, the use of harsher sexually derived words as uh, ex 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 uh, ex expli I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Uh, more than one one occurrence of that would incur it to be an R rating. But yeah, we're we're PG thirteen. I rarely talk about sexual stuff. If ever, actually. That's that's only off stream practical NPC. Alright, so you can grab that, uh, grab, oh, grab this light orb, oh no, are we just bad at our game? You know, I am slow today. Whatever, we'll leave it the way it is. Oh, whoa. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the raycast here, uh, didn't load. Um, and the reason, actually I don't know the reason why it didn't load. Well, you know what, let me go back into this room. Give them a little bit more space up here. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, we don't have, um, yeah, you know, I'm going to blame it on me being tired today, that I'm, like, missing everything. Um, but I think what we'll do is push this to the right three tiles and push this more to the right three tiles. Honestly, maybe you could even make this, I think you could make this jump. Um, without this dash or, but we're nice people. Also, I just realized we don't actually need this orb to be here. Um, after you exit a, a zip line, you have your dash. So you, you'll, you'll, you'll jump out of here, then you can dash to the right. Um, there we go. So we have each of our checkpoints now. Or not our checkpoints, our monuments. And this room is slightly better. This could be updated a bit. Um, where do we, is this the next room where we add? Well, zip lines are added after. Um, after teleporters are added. So we could actually add a teleporter to this room right here. Maybe like, I'm trying to think. They grab this orb, they dash to the right to a Teleporter, they come out through here. Um, let's see. Because, yeah, this room is, I, I think this room is kind of basic here. Or the, the top part is kind of basic. So we'll do like a force dash. Or maybe we don't even need a force dash. We could get rid of this force dash. Um, put one like that. And then let's grab our portals. I assume it's portal three. That's form two seventy. One like right here. They could actually we'll add some spikes there as well. I'll put one final one over here. Ninety. And then we might want to include a um portal right here. 
Although if they dash out and dash again, they could theoretically make it there. I mean, yeah, it's not difficult, but they might die on the first on the first run. Oh. Hey, how's it going, Skull then? Oh, we don't even need this orb here. Um, what we're up to, we're just doing some light level design. Oh, we missed the orb. So we oh! Oh, we never connected it, that's why. Yeah, we're just doing some light level design. Um, we're I think we're done with it now. Uh, well, we're never done with it, but we're done with level design today. Whoa, dude, I'm. What the hell? Did I, did I just do something? This has never happened before. Am I? I swear this doesn't happen. Am I just noticing this bug or is it something that we just did? New mechanic, yeah. It's not a bug. So it's when you dash out from the, the zip line. Okay, wait, so it, it didn't happen here, but it happened in that other room, so let's see. I, want, I wonder what that could have been. That was here. Okay. That's, that's kind of scary that that happened. Um, we'll, we'll maybe make some, maybe we'll look at the code. Uh, we'll look at the code really quick. I've never, I mean, we instanced the room. Let me see something. In our world demo, we, oh, we put our player back here. You know what it could have been? Um, honestly, it, it might've just been a bug with me. Like I added this item here and then like, creating like new references in the room and stuff like that. And then we, we didn't create, like we didn't re re instance the whole game. We kind of just kept going. Maybe that's what, what made the bug happen, but it's weird that it happened with the play. Like the, the player is like independent of the room. So I don't see why that would be a problem. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Honestly, it does look like a cool mechanic though. Not gonna lie, I kinda, I, it's kind of cool. Like, Ooh. it does give me an idea. Actually, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to fix this. But yeah, actually, I'm gonna write that down. I I feel like that would be a cool idea. And you know, I actually don't have a like we have a gameplay um section here, but I think it would be cool to have like a new uh mechanic ideas. So let's do that. Mechanic ideas. Um, I don't know what we call it, like a super long dash. We call it that super long dash. Um, another one. And a full spike roof they miss. Yeah, yeah, it would be like. I'd have to see, like. We, we also don't want to, um, like, it, 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 it seems like a very long mechanic, so it would have to be something like, you know, maybe you're forced to move along something, um, but we can't have it happen for a long period of time. Otherwise, like, you know, 
you're moving for a long period of time, then you mess up, and then you die, and then you have to play that animation again. So like we we'd have to be careful with the level design around that, but it is a cool mechanic. Reverse gravity, yeah, it's what to see. Yeah, basically we're we're in. It seems like we're in our dash state, but the dash state isn't ending. Um, so actually, I think I know what's going on with that, but it's weird that it only happens in that room and not the other ones. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so super long dash. Um, I also want to add like a rope. Um, uh, I don't know what to call it. Like rope, rope swinging. That's what we wanted to do. I want to add like a rope swinging, uh, mechanic to the game as well. Um, but that won't be added until after this demo is done. So, what is going on in this room? And I want to see one more thing. If we instance ourselves in... What the hell? What the, did we do? I don't think we did anything recently. It's weird that I'm seeing this bug now. You know, wait. Let me reload our current project. Have I reached out to any publishers? Not... Not recently. Wait, what happened to my camera? Oh, I accidentally hit my camera and not my display capture. Whoa. Hey, how's it going, Dev Waffle? Why is it doing it? Can we like reset? Transform, edit, transform. Here, wait, I'm just gonna delete. <laughs> I'm gonna delete my video. Oh, you know, actually, no, no, no. we'll delete it. Okay, so we are experiencing some technical difficulties with OBS at the moment. Um, I'm going to delete video capture device. And let's try this again. Video capture. All right, so now it's acting all weird. Let me try. Let me try disconnecting my camera. Where's my camera? Oh, wait, no, this is my mouse. Why is this happening? Yeah. Alright, so we've deactivated or we've reconnected our webcam. Hopefully. back to normal. There we go. Let's not do that again. Uh, it's weird, like, you know, I, like, I constantly press control S, you know, like to save my scenes and stuff. But if you press control S on OBS, it like, it's like a, uh, a shortcut to like, full screen, whatever, like a uh, window or whatever source you're on. Um, all right, main scene. Okay, so. <laughs> why, why does it happen in, it doesn't have, you know, maybe the, we have like two different instances of like, or like two different types of zip lines. Let me see. Um, 
um, what is this called? Teleporter eight. This is using a zip line, which is correct. Maybe I'll, I'll try like remaking this one. What would set this room apart from this one besides the teleporters that we have? Let me see. It might be. I'm going to connect my controller really quick. Let's see if it happens with our controller. Very strange. <laughs> uh, we are in the dash state, I believe. Let me see if we restart. Okay. Let's go into options. Yeah, we're in the dash state. So I guess. Yeah, we, we just don't have something checking in our player function. It, it's so weird, though, that it would, wouldn't happen in these rooms, but for this room. So either I'll create like a new instance of this. Um, or we can try to figure out this is what this is our teleporter, right? No, this is our player. OK, let's go into. exit state on our exit zip line can dash is equal to true ah uh, okay what i might do first is redo the zip line if that doesn't fix it, we'll figure out what's going on in our in our um, in our player's code. Oh, uh, what's going on, man? Let me see. Does it happen in this on this spike too? Can't even. Whoa! It didn't happen there though. Oh my god! So it happened on the first instance of this room. Let's try it again. And then if we do it again. What I assume is the timer doesn't run for our player. Um, all right, let's just look at that. Okay, so if dash ability, when do we restart our on the plan here? When do we start our timer? Probably on enter state or like in the dash state. So we are for sure in the dash state. Let's look at our enter state. Oh, it doesn't happen in enter dash. Change off on control dash. If force dash dash else dash. We do have a dash teleport. And maybe we don't have the timer starting for our dash teleport. I don't see where we start the what timer we use for our dash. Let's see.
Okay, so we match our state if we are in teleport two. Dash duration timer. Dash duration timer node. Um, we set it to point two. It should be dash duration. I mean, oh yeah, we do have it set to dash duration. And let me see what's happening on dash duration timer node. Uh, let's actually just make sure that this is printing. Um, so we start a dash duration. And let's look at dash duration. Dash duration is dash timeout. On dash duration timeout, we're just saying dash is equal to false. So dash duration timed out. Let's see. So we're starting our dash duration timer node on exit dash. What's weird is that, yeah, what's weird here, it seems like we're dashing, starting this dash duration timer node before we actually enter the dash state. It seems to be the problem. So you can see on the top, starting dash duration, then dash, and then it says dash duration timed out. So at that point, dashing would be set to false. Um, hmm. But let me see what's happening while we're in the zipline state. Hey, how's it going, Commodore? We're just uh, doing some level design and we just found a game breaking bug. Or a possible game breaking feature. And getting compliments from Dev Waffle about my face. Can't forget about that. Vibe Slayer, Slayer Gaming can't code. Um, I wouldn't say you can't code, it's just that you haven't learned to code. Right? Anyone can code. Yeah, it's broken. There's nothing, there's nothing we can do. Except smash the keyboard in frustration. It's so weird. I've never seen this bug happen. I, I, I must, I feel like I must have like accidentally erased something. Um, if dashing is equal to like, so duration timed out let me see this one more time oh 
Okay, so we are entering the dash state. The timer has already started. We've entered the dash state and then dash duration timed out. So at this point, dashing is equal to false. So let's check, honestly, wait, I'm gonna see one more thing. If we just dash regularly, and we'll print this out too. Before we start our dash duration, let me just print out the same thing. Okay, yeah, starting dash duration, I guess, always starts before we enter uh, the dash state. I always thought, well, actually, let me see something. Oh, it, it, technically we are already in that state, but we print it after, after we've uh, entered the state and uh, I exited the state and entered the state um but uh now's the time to see what's happening with dashing equals false or Uh, enter neutral state, I assume, is what's messing us up. Because we're in the dash. Oh, let me see what enter neutral state is. We only have three. Oh, okay. So we never set enter neutral state to true. Um, and this should be. Th th this is something that should happen uh, for every state, no matter what. So. Let's just put that right here. Honestly, dash duration timer node should just run all the time. Same, yeah, like all of this should run uh, no matter what. And it's fixed. There we go. Oh, wait. Let me see something. can tell. Let me look at our neutral state timer really quick. I don't know if I'm just slow today or if that uh, neutral state timer looked a little too fast. It says one second here. Neutral state timer. Neutral. Yeah, neutral. Let's see. I think we actually have it set up as a variable. If force dash, we have our neutral state timer set to 0.3, but usually it's set to um, our neutral state duration, which is 0.2 seconds. So I'm just gonna set this to one second really quick. Just wanna see. Okay, yeah, yeah, it works properly. All right, so yeah, there, there was, I'm actually, uh, now I'm surprised that it worked for these, uh, that it always worked for these, um, and not this one. But yeah, okay, we're back on track. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh yeah, we never ch <laughs> And now we're up to another bug. Uh, let me, uh, let's see. Non-existent, okay, so I think we're actually using the wrong teleporter here. Let me see what the original was.
And this is teleport portal. Okay. So we're using two, not three. You can see, oh, you can't see, but I have four different versions of our teleport portal. And eventually we just stuck with using tele uh, the second version of it. Something like that. Technically, you, you can dash out from here. And then, like, if you're good enough, you can dash out and then dash back up but for the people we'll leave that as like a cool bonus for people that are good at the game My uh, my reflexes are a little slow today. Okay, so we didn't even reach it. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh yeah, we never create a reference for these. To save you guys from the the trouble of watching me struggle with this. I'm just gonna put our player over here. There we go. Um, yeah, another thing that I'm thinking that we could do, let me see something. So yeah, they actually can't dash through unless they did something like that but yeah we plan on adding spikes here anyway so it won't be possible unless they're unless they're hacking okay Uh, yeah, so that's a little better. Um, I'm thinking we could update this area a bit too. No, maybe not. Maybe we'll leave it the way it is. I got rid of the music. Oh, no, uh, are you talking about the in-game music? There is in-game music, it's just, while developing, I don't like to hear the same, you know, two-minute loop. Lo-fi hip-hop, it's playing. Maybe it's just not loud enough. Should hear it, though. It's just maybe, that was probably a quiet song. So this works, uh, wait, let me try it. this room out. All right, yeah, we got it. So the next thing for us to update is the UI here. See the A button is being 
are, yeah, we're grabbing the A button, which is incorrect. Um, you need to make sure it's grabbing whatever our UI says to grab. Uh, I'm thinking, do I want to, should I end the stream here and maybe we'll do this tomorrow? Uh, cause I do want to do some, or maybe I can do that on stream. I'll leave it up to the vote. Uh, you guys want to watch me do work on the UI or do you want me to work on like the Kickstarter? That was, that's what I was going to do today. So I'll let the people decide the Kickstarter. The UI looks, I mean, we, we could bring it back to its original form. It's just that it's it's showing the wrong thing at the moment. Um, and I know it's going to be another can of worms once we, once we work on the keyboard, keep uh, the key, key, like showing the correct UI for the keyboard. Um, I don't even know how to go about it. The longer I stream, the more free advertising I have. Oh yeah, I'm using Google's, you know, resources. I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah, Google's and Twitch's resources to promote my game. So, yeah, I can stream the Kickstarter. So we don't actually have much on it just yet, but let's see. I have to be careful about like what I show, though. I don't want to show any like personal information. So you might see me like opening and closing um, the screen from time to time, just to make sure, I don't know. Can't be too careful. I'm just delete, I'm actually deleting some of my um, Google history right now. Just so you guys can't see it while I'm like, I don't know, on my browser or something. All right, uh, let me open up Kickstarter really quick. Oh, you know what I could do too? Maybe let's do this. Maybe a little stretch. Oh wait, we don't even have to stretch it. Okay. I'm gonna delete it again. I need to do something private I'll just oh. Oh, oh. All right. so, for example I'm gonna do that right now we'll log in all right so this is the Kickstarter and as you can see I've already exposed my name that's okay. What's so special about the history? Oh, nothing like inappropriate. Um, more like, like it, in my history just now, I saw like, uh, I, I went out with some friends. So I was like, I looked up like restaurants in a neighborhood that they live in. I don't know. I, feel like it's that good. I think knowing my name is fine. Like I, I have my name on my project anyway. Um, So, this is our beautiful memory game project. Uh, 
with nothing just yet. So let's figure out what to do here. So I started working on like the pledge tiers and I think, oh, we don't have like a stretch goals or anything like that, but maybe that's what we'll do here. Uh, what the hell is going on though? Memory. What? I, oh, there we go. Okay. I guess we already had it open. I have three windows of it open actually. So we, yeah, I started working on the rewards. Maybe we'll finish that up really quick. So we have tier one, tier two. Let's see, estimated delivery. Tier two is $20, digital copy, back roll. Name in the credits, digital copy of the soundtrack, art book, and access to Kickstarter. Hey, how's it going, Jack? Oh, if you think tier two is cool, wait till till you see tier three. Tier three, I think, is like I don't want to like I'm not trying to promote it or anything. Um. I'm, I'm just trying to be somewhat creative with it. So let me try editing this. $50. Mission to access to private builds of the game. So actually, I had, you know, I copied and pasted this from another, uh, another Kickstarter. And this girl rolls of tier three supporter. The improved crit. New and improved. Why be a tier one when you could be a tier three? Um, okay. And I think I already have all of this written in our Trello so we could just copy and paste this. Oh, <laughs> we can't copy and paste it. What's, oh, um, if I got like 100k, for example, you know, like I said, no one is required to support this game, you know, you can, you know, you could watch my, you know, uh, honestly, I would prefer like people watching my stream over getting paid. Like the, the reason why I, I want the payment is one to like work on this project for an extended period of time without having to worry about money. But it's like, honestly, like whether I, I got like five thousand or fifty thousand from this project, I would still work on it. Um, it just depends on like how, you know, like it'd be my dream to make this like the biggest game or, or like my biggest project ever with like you know my full, um, undivided attention. Like you know, I, I mean, I treat it like a job already, but like to treat it as a job where like you know, people rely on me to, like, make this game, or, like, you know, Kickstarter was successful, um, you know, that'd be even more motivation to, like, make this a bigger game. Um, yeah, so, yeah, no, no one's required to ever pay me or anything like that. This is for the, the people, maybe, who don't watch my stream and want to support the game and think it's a cool game. Pay for the game or secret assassins will hunt you. Yeah. How come I haven't made a website for memory? Um, I don't know. I guess I have so many websites that like every time I build a website, I kind of like, like, you know, we're, we're building a website for solo development. Uh, I'm, I have this other website, um, like for my, like freelance work. I have another website for, um, game dev, like just game dev. Uh, by itself and it's like it's so much to manage memory would be another uh, project that I have to put under my belt but you know um, while we're in this process of making memory I actually want to see uh, if memory is taken and 
it would suck as I checked it and someone took it on stream. So the oh memories.gg memory ink memory art. So yeah, I could get memory ink for uh, dot memory dot ink for only one thousand dollars per year. Not a bad deal. Yeah, memory is taken. I'd probably do memory game or something. Yeah, memory game is fine. Or we'll see. I do own practical NPC. Or I think I do. Yeah, I, I do own it. Yeah, registered in 2020. Yeah, Afterlife was taken on Steam. All right, like you can have multiple versions of the same game, but it's like, um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to like promote like let's say it was Afterlife. Promote Afterlife, and then when people search Afterlife, the uh, different game pops up. It's like, damn, I don't want that. Um, okay, let's stop getting distracted, and let's choose some. I think we're gonna have to make. Back a roll on Discord. Let me just make sure. Okay, we, we make tier two. So it's we'll we'll be making new objects or new items every time. It's gonna get like real super repetitive really really fast. Back a roll. Tier three another item um, everything that's above so your name in the credits or digital copy of memory on steam that one we can actually reuse um, and can we move these oh yeah we can okay Oh, this is already taken. And can we, oh no, we can't edit these. I have like this dash right here. Is it in the other ones too? Oh, there we go. I noticed that there were dashes in my thing earlier. Uh, only thing is you can't like when you, whenever you create a new item it saves like your existing one so like i added dashes before but now it's like permanently there You make a channel with uh, on the server for fan art? Yeah, sure. It's actually not a bad idea. How did I come up with the name NPC? Um, so like it was originally supposed to be like a, um, a YouTube. Well, I mean, it is my YouTube name, but I was trying to do. A, I wanted to do Godot tutorials. So I wanted to like have a personality of like, hey, I'm an NPC. Here's how you do stuff. But it never, it never worked out, or I never did it. Uh, eventually, I will do it. Like I do want to do a tutorial on this game. I know like we live stream everything, but it'd be cool to have like a nice organized, um, you know, document of everything. Um, so yeah, it was like NPC. Also, the reason why I wanted NPC, I don't know, it like what it's like where you live but like NPC is such a like common 
I guess, vocabulary word in like, I don't know, like in my generation or like by the people that I'm surrounded by and they're like, oh, all of these people, you're surrounded by NPCs. Like if you talk to someone on the street, they're like, oh, this guy's an NPC or something like that. And it's like, I don't know, people, I feel like people need to humble themselves a little bit because like if, if everyone's calling each other NPCs, then that might say something, you know, it's like, oh, I guess we're all NPCs then, you know? So I was like, hey, you know what? Let me embrace it. You know, we're all NPCs. There's always going to be a moment where like someone talks to me and I'll probably sound like an NPC to them. Um, but it requires, I feel like it requires, um, I guess like some sort of like uh, self-awareness to realize like, hey, come on. Either all of us are NPCs or none of us are NPCs. But I vote for we're all NPCs. We're all just computer algorithms. <laughs> underscore equals XX underscore X sniper NPC three four. Yes, that's a good name. So access to Kickstarter updates, your name in the credits, we have that, uh, the digital art book, let's add that. Um, where is it, where is it? Access to Kickstarter updates, and did we have a art book? Yeah, digital art book. Why doesn't it show here, though? Unless I'm blind. So, okay, so it does exist, but I don't see it. Oh, because it's already there. Of course. Am I using Godot for it? No, I'm using 3.5.1. I wish there was like a night mode for this. Tier four, uh, tier four, I haven't, wait, let me see. All right, so tier four is everything as above, but um, with a tombstone with your name on the grave, like the plaque. Let's grab that. So originally, uh, I was thinking either it was going to be a tombstone, with, like there would be so many names on it, but what we could do is also add like, I don't know how many people would donate $100 or more, but if they did, um, we could also put it on like checkpoints of players. I, I, I would have to check um, how lenient like Kickstarter is with like changing up the rewards so like if i did promise this in the 100 dollars or more but then I, I i didn't add a grave of lost souls it was more like a grave or just um their name is in the game but it's not necessarily in this grave full stops yeah you're right Here, you know what, for now, 
since I feel like this might be kind of boring for the game, let's maybe... Is this where we would add images and stuff? Okay, project image. Yeah, let's add stuff like that. Yeah, I do plan on adding a storyline. I'm not much of a writer, so what I plan on doing is probably having someone write it for me. Let's see. I, I do have some friends who are interested, but um, it's just like on the bottom of the priority list, right? We want our afterlife cover. I think it's this one right here. Oh, did we throw it into the wrong one? Thank you, Dev Waffles. The inspiration I need. It's already looking like a professional. Well, we have all the pledge tiers right there. Um, now we just have to add like all the the stretch goals and stuff like that. So I already have the fonts, so we can actually start working on that. Um, so we'll have something like stretch goals, gameplay, all of that, all that good stuff. Yeah, I got fonts. I can show you guys. I think I have it downloaded. Um, you know, I should throw it into this file here. Let me open up a new window. Should open my desktop. I just when I downloaded it. Yeah, so this is our entire alphabet. And I'm sure this is the full image. Or, oh, I guess they're all on top of each other. We'll just open up each of these files whenever we need them. Um, so I guess the first thing that we would need is maybe stretch goals. So we, uh, the guy who made this, he also made a nice background for me. We might want some like variations for this. Maybe I'll ask him for that as well. But for now, we'll try fitting it in here and then see how it goes. So let's do, we need what we need, stretch goals. S, T, R, E. We already have T, C, H. Hopefully this doesn't get complicated fast. Goal. L. And we already have S. Okay. Stretch. Stretch. Oh, you know, I could have just done, I could have spelled out the word. It would have been easier for me to like go through each of these. Okay, so this word is huge, but we're, we're going to scale it all down. Um, so I'm trying to think if we should like align it in a new image first. We'll make like a huge image. 
um, that way we can like reuse these images whenever we want. Um, what's a good size? What's this size? Let's say 500 by 500 and we'll multiply that by like 20 on each side. It's gonna be a huge image. Oh, whoa. That was <laughs> Currently 134 megabytes. Fuck it, we have that much space. Or I mean, fr frick it. Frick it. Let's make this image black. Let's we'll figure out what's the best how we should separate them. I'm trying to think if like keeping them aligned like this would look cool. I should make them into an actual font file. Uh, I wouldn't know how to go about that, so for now, it's on the bottom of the priority list. It's a lot easier than I think. Oh, if that's the case, then yeah, maybe I'll go about it. I, I was thinking, like, you have to convert them to like SVG files because, like, right now these are these are PNGs. I actually asked the artist if he could make SVG files, but he said it would be a lot harder for him, um, which I think I think makes sense. Um, so don't know if these are aligned. Okay, yeah. No, there's no punctuation. We might, we might want to separate these. Oops. Stretch goal. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, like having them connected, but yeah, maybe a little bit of space in between wouldn't be a bad idea. But yeah, we're just testing this out. Stretch goals. 
All right, um, I'm gonna export this file. Let's just put in our documents for now. Let's call it Oh wait, this is a PNG, we want to save it. As an actual file. Yeah, Kickstarter preparations. It's uh, harder, or if not harder, than actually setting up or actually programming. All right, so we got this here. All right, we're gonna have to figure out like a good size for this. So it's grabbing the full image here for some reason. Let's see. Dude, these these files are so large. It's like taking so much like computing power just to move it around. Um, but let's try scaling this now. So our current width is 1000. Oh, wait, this is the width of the full image. I don't know why it's doing that, but me try grabbing. Yeah, that's probably why it's lagging. There we go, that's better. So let's try dividing this by two. See how that looks. It's a little too small. That's too... Um, Divided by three times two. Multiplayer or single player? Single player. Although, like, I mean, yeah. Gameplay is single player. There are multiplayer aspects to it, like, um, or like online aspects to it, like uh, creating uh, leaderboards and stuff like that, but yeah, for the most part, it's a single player game. Well, who knows what the future holds? All right, so this image is centered. Um, I think this looks pretty good. Honestly, we can even go bigger, but we'll see what it looks like in the in the on the page itself. Um, what I'm gonna do is also grab this image. I'm gonna try to center this as well. And apparently it already is. Okay. I guess that's because of the... Just the way it's set up. I like the size of it. So let me try... Just doing something like that. It doesn't feel like it's centered. Yeah, it wasn't centered. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Uh, 2,300 
there, honestly this image might be too big but we can scale this down as well uh, let's just see what it looks like though save this and we're gonna make a new folder called kickstarter I assume story, project description, I think it would go here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. We could decrease the size of the image just a bit. We have like a bunch of images. I mean, I guess it's fine. I wonder if they do something. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, they reduce the size themselves, so we don't have to worry about it. We can keep it the same, th like the same thing, and it'll, it'll update them. All right. I already feel like this is it. This is all we need. So we're gonna have to make like a, an actual window for the stretch goals. Um, I wanted to hire someone for this, but at the same time, I don't know if they'll know what to do. Like, I'll be, like I myself don't even know what I want. So it's like. I should create like some sort of template for it and if I think that my version of it is like not adequate enough then I will do it I mean or I'll have them like redo it um, but at the moment I feel like this is fine you guys all of the kickstarters that i was looking at like for references uh, someone actually sent me this i haven't done too much of my own research i've just been looking at these few ones oh, i think someone mentioned a plushie we're not going to add a plushie i, I did some research on like, like kickstarter campaigns and usually you don't want to waste too much money on like like, you know, if you're trying to create a game, like, the the tiers shouldn't reward things that are not related to the game. Why is there some kind of popping sound in the background? You hear something popping? Is it from my mic, or is it from, uh, 
from the music. Can you hear my chair? I don't hear anything. So yeah, I've been looking at this. This one was like a really good campaign. They made $80,000. That's crazy. They pledged 65,000. That's crazy. I mean, it's a great, amazing looking game, but that's crazy that they made this much. Crazy to me. Uh, this is like top tier though, in my opinion. So yeah, like, they have the world, they have Sure, they have one for pledge tiers. Visit our website. That's not a bad idea to have either. Visit our Discord, maybe. I should have one like that. Or just Discord. Let me see what else we got. Toys. They've got World. They've got Nemo's bedroom, characters, little buddies, pajamas, enemies, primary tiers. So this it would be a cool little thing. of game items. I wonder if I can even add that sort of thing to the game. Special tiers. A pet. Oh, look, they, they're also doing a statue. New bonus tiers. Exclusive items. All right, so yeah, this is sort of what we, well, we just wrote stretch goals. Um, community work. Twitter followers. I could do like an about me. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. Collaborators, that's also a good one. Budget, oh, a budget, that's a good one too. All right, so let's add this to our Trello here. Let's do like categories maybe. Let's write some stuff down. So we have budget, About me, collaborators, or maybe I should do about us. I don't know what people want more. Would you, it sounds scummy, but would you, would you trust a team? Like, are you more likely to trust a team with the Kickstarter or like an individual with the Kickstarter? Because while we do have a team, it's not necessarily like, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't feel like a team just yet. And I wonder if people are more into like an individual making a game or a company making a game. Probably a team. So I would do maybe about us. And then about the game dev and then about the artist, something like that. I also don't want to seem like I'm like one, I don't want to sound like, I don't want to sound narcissistic about saying about me, but I also don't want to lie and say about us.
Yeah, I might just use us. I'm, I'm trying to think, like... Yeah, I think about, about us would be better. Alright, so we have... Oh, thank you. Meta categories. I don't even know if we should add them. Like Godot Engine, I could definitely talk about Godot Engine. Um, we'll leave it there. Let's say we'll leave this as like I don't know potential. Hey, how's it going, Adam? Welcome. You have an exam tomorrow. Good luck on your exam, man. I'm sure you'll do great. Actually, like, I don't chicken nuggets. They're like, I don't even know what you would call them. They're like empanadas almost. My grandpa made them. But they're made with uh, sweet potatoes. Like, the outside is like crushed sweet potato. Made into like uh, a dough of some kind. And then inside, there's like. Pleasant it looks inside. Like peas and beef inside. It's pretty good. Maybe I could do something like this instead. Like, I have two versions of the, um... The categories, like, one with the main title, like, using this. Or, like, 
stretch like the important things will have this but then stuff like you know about me will be in smaller text or maybe even normal text we'll see seems like the game is something that's popular. Features. See. The world. Um, this is at our website. I mean, yeah, we maybe maybe we'll have like our own the game. See if that's a common practice here. Oh, demo demo available. That's a good one. I need to make. Oh my god! Like this looks so good. I don't even. I don't even want to. Like, how am I going to compete with this? I feel like I have to hire someone to do this, but at the same time, I don't like. This is something that's pretty niche. Like. They're professional Kickstarter makers. Um, let's just let's just YOLO. All right, uh, about the game. We'll just do about the game or play the game. Play the demo. Play the demo. And maybe this should I should add like a star maybe to make it um like uh maybe it'll be custom UI here instead. Um, it'd be cool if like maybe I included, well, I only have one image, so I'm trying to think if that's even worth it. Let's just try it. Play the game. Let's do it. Oh my God. This is going to be hellish. Let's do this. I'm complaining too much. Gotta do it. Okay, um, I'm gonna close all of these windows here. And we'll say play the game or play, try our demo maybe or So uh, any post-processing I'm going to save for later, like I could add Bloom here, but um, yeah. I, I saved these files so we can always edit them later. Oh, actually I didn't save these files. Let me make sure I save this. Uh, save as on our desktop, we'll call this Kickstarter export headers. What are we spelling? Play the demo or play demo. Play the game. Let's do play play our demo. Or memory demo. <laughs> Weakest memory stretch goals.
right, let's do play play our demo or play no memory demo. Why am I like? I'm so indecisive today. Meh. More. Uh, R. All right, so memory. I don't know why I didn't open all of the, the words correctly, but we got it. Demo and memory. Okay. Let's do this. You know, I wonder if we, I know there's a, an option we could do for our configure grid. We grab the size of this image really quick. So it'll make our life a little easier. What's going on here? What we do here is close this as well. Uh, 746 by 634. 746 by, what was it, 634? Let's make it red and then for our view show grid and I, I think there's like a, an option to like snap to grid um also technically our images are not this big shit uh they're smaller but i think the size on the the, the size on the y-axis is correct um so Maybe we could we could align it like down here. And it won't be a problem. Can I show what you made on stream? Sure thing. Waffles made this. Don't know what it is, but it's like a blue furry ball with a lot of rendering, I, I assume. All of these are probably like waving in the air or something. Eminem. Imagine if it was a Rickroll. Yeah, you missed your opportunity. I'm, I, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to look at anything you post, and now I mean it. All right, so yeah, the we can't actually bound it to a grid because our letters are always different sized. So yeah, we won't do that. Um, Oops. Memory. Oh. So another cool, like, I think it's like a I think it's called like a double entendre i'm not sure with like memory like i don't know if you guys know but like memory is supposed to be like uh memento mori um but my friend told me that uh mem memory like in spanish means um like i died so it's like another thing and it's also memory like you know lost my memory so there's like a bunch of like little hidden things with this name i think it's cool Only thing is, I hope people don't mistake memory with the uh, why when I when I say it. Like usually, if I explain it to people, it's like, "Hey, it's memory, but it's spelled with an I." Uh, I'm 
Oh, we need to figure out what our spacing is going to be. I don't have like a space. Like I for this one, I kind of just we we can update it later though. Um, but it should be consistent. Maybe we should figure out what that consistency is going to be now. Um, let me do like maybe what's this? Two hundred and fifty pixels. I think that's a good amount. Yeah, I, I even have some, I sometimes forget that it's called memory. Um, I wonder how close we can get, because like technically we can get these to touch right here. just separate it a bit. I think if I hold, oh yeah, right, I forgot I could do that. And like, <laughs> we hold control and shift. Memory demo, let's go. I don't know, like play here. I think we need some another thing, but maybe I'll just leave it like this for now. Save this. Um, let's copy this over. And oh, I don't remember what I saved as our current size. Two thirty by or two seven oh seven height. Let's do that. Oh wait, whoop, he accidentally deleted it. Okay.
Um, the height, actually, well, let's see. We actually might need to make it smaller. Yeah, okay. Um, I wonder how much this is gonna screw us over. Like we could also maybe like stack the words on top of each other, but let's see, let's try 600. 500. Oh. I think this works. You know, what's weird is that it's not grabbing like the end dimensions here, like it's like this blank spot right here. I wonder why that's happening. Let's see. Let me add. There we go, that's what we need. No, it's still not it's still not grabbing what we want. Do I play games like Dark Souls? I've played Dark Souls in the past. I've never beaten any Dark Souls though. I've gotten very close to beating, I think, Dark Souls 1. Um, but yeah, I never beat it. Uh, Elden Ring. I've played a bit of Elden Ring, but I never played, I never like really played it. But I really played, I think, maybe like 50 hours max. Or like, yeah, like 50 hours. And I got, I actually didn't even get stuck on a boss. I kind of just got, I don't know, uh, bored. Uh, maybe bored's not the right word. I don't know, I just lost motivation to play. I guess it was probably because I was doing game dev. So, like, it's weird. We're grabbing this object here, and then... When we, oh, this is what it's supposed to, you know, that's weird. Okay, we got it now. Memory demo. Oh no. What's going on? Let me upload my images. <laughs> oh no. Come on. No larger than 200 megabytes. I don't think we go past that. Yeah, we're 1.2. OK. 
Come on. Work for me. Okay. Uh, let's try doing this. Okay. Um, maybe. I wonder if we could just upload it directly. Come on. I still have it open, so it's exported. Or if you're talking about the the, the image itself, um, I have it exported as a PNG, so it shouldn't matter. Let me try just reloading the page. There we go. Hell yeah. Stretch goals, memory demo, what else? Dude, it, take, it takes like a good 10 minutes for me to just make one of these. I had to spend like an hour straight of not getting bored <laughs> and working on this. I could also try making I wonder how much time it would, it would take for me to make a font out of this and just writing it out. That would make our life a lot easier. Convert PNG. PNGs aren't, yeah, can't do that. Yeah, it's not in vector format, so I don't think it's even possible for us to do it. It is what it is. Can't complain. All right, next image. What are we doing? We got stretch goals. We got play the demo. We should send. We should actually edit this to redirect to um, image caption. Uh, play the demo. Alternative text. Um, play the demo. Um, demo. demo header image. I don't know. All right, I'll leave it like that. It's, it's description, you don't have to. It's mostly robots reading the alternative text and stuff like that. Like, uh, alternative text kind of stuff, no one reads this. What other people? Oh, there is like a little <laughs> demo image for memory. So we will call it something else. Demo image. Uh, we'll call it. Uh, maybe we don't even want a caption then. Maybe we'll. We will play the demo here. I mean, it's already. It's already in the image. You don't have to.
yeah, I guess I'll leave the link there. A lot of the a lot of the time, some of these headers won't be um, clickable, so maybe it's nice to have that that there so they know it's a link. All right, I'll see you, Dev Waffle. Thanks for stopping by, man. Alrighty. Um, now let's. I think what I'll do. We'll do like a few more of these categories. Support dev. Risks and challenges I really like. Oh yeah, we want we do want to know about us. I think that's like one of the things and budget are like super big ones that I need to have. Let's do about us. You know, I wish uh there weren't copyright issues with streaming stuff. Cause I would I would totally just like stream myself watching like a show or a movie and doing this because while while this doesn't require too much brain power it's very very tedious all right so what do we need uh about Where's you? Where's you? Oh. The, the artist forgot to take out this little, little triangle here. You know, I wonder if it would be a better, uh, it would be, if it would be faster if I like made a program that like grabbed each of our images, like I can even do it in Godot where like we grab all of these files. Also, what's, why does this look weird? Am I tripping? Like the A is so separated from the rest of these words. I mean, rest of the letters, but you get what I mean. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. It'll be down low, so like, if it is weird, they won't notice. Oh, also, we didn't actually separate each of the words by 250 pixels. We kind of just guesstimated it. 
this is. And it's gonna be different for every single word, like every single letter. Cause like the shape of them, or like the x-axis of each of our letters are different. Um, in terms of like width. I, I might just ignore that for now. Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, the scale that we use is going to be different for every section here. So we'll try out 700, but we might do something smaller. That looks fine, actually. Uh, let's move this down a bit. Let me try one more thing. Yeah, so it's so weird that it, it like doesn't grab this little section here. It grabs like. I don't know, like the full background. Let me try remove alpha, alpha, and then alpha T selection. There we go. Try that again. Strange. It's a little better though. We could center it now. Okay, so um, I guess we can't move these images once we've posted them. Um, more than likely, we're going to put the... Oh, yeah, we can move it. Psych. Demo stretch goals about us. I think we're gonna do budget and then um, one final thing that we'll do during this stream is try to like make an actual you I'll make an attempt at making some sort of like um, poster for like maybe our budget or our stretch goals or something we'll see maybe I could find like a cool website online for like making graphs and 
we'll try to figure out what our actual budget's going to be, or like how we're gonna allocate, you know, the money that we get. Um, so let's do budget really quick. And let me just make sure we save this. Budget. Let's do this. Oh, hey, how's it going, YouTunes? How you been, man? I feel like it's been a, a hot minute since I've seen you. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Soon. This looks uh, a little too big.
Oh yeah, I know that feeling, man. I I hated level design. How's the, how's the game coming along though, besides the, the level design part, or the mechanics and everything like that? So one slight issue is that <laughs> all of these words are not aligned correctly. We'll fix that though. Um, I need to figure out why it's not it's not aligning correctly actually. Um, but I won't do that today. I mean, it's not crazy noticeable. Like no one's gonna know that this B is not completely aligned with, or like this is not centered correctly. But it's not terrible. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect pixel collection, uh, collect, collision, uh, basic movement, uh, and double jumps. Oh, you need to code double jumps and grabbing. I've always wanted to gra add like a edge grabbing. Do you mean like also walls or just like the, the corner, you know, like right, right below um, a tile or something, or like right on the edge of a tile, like on a corner? So this is what our Kickstarter looks like right now. It's not much. It gets the job done. Uh, obviously we have to add content inside, but it's gonna take some time too. Uh, we'll leave it like this. Um, and I said I was gonna work on a window for the budget, but I am, I'm, I'm feeling tired. I wonder how long we've been programming for. It's been like three hours and 30 minutes so yeah we'll, we'll call it a break here tomorrow i'm going to work on finishing the ui um to show like the correct what is it? right here it's all messed up here uh we're using a tile map to show like the correct button um i feel like that's the best way to go about it we could we might want to do something differently but we'll see What's nice about using a tile map is that it's kind of easy for me to animate it or like put it, you know, like in a grid um, and just animate based on what button we're at and what animation we want to play. Edge grabbing instead of OG. Oh, so that's like your, your cool, unique uh mechanic or not unique but like your core mechanic maybe if 
But yeah, I am going to take a break here. I'll stay on the on the stream for just like a few more minutes, but I am dead. And double chip, I see, okay. By the way, we have a game jam for, I mean, <laughs> I think it's just you, YouTunes, and someone else watching the stream, but uh, for anyone that is interested, we have a three-day game jam happening next month on January 13th, Friday the 13th. Um, right here. Winter gym. Oh, this image is. I think it's way too big. Yeah, this is our gym here. And, um. The theme is probably gonna be one of these three here. Oh, no. End is near. No UI or make the boring fun. That's like our limitation or theme, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so tired. I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to take a nap. Yeah. Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm leaving just as you're coming. 